it through my disguise. Odd. Oh, even the shrine maiden often struggles to find me. Huh? My tail was sticking out? <sighs> I must have been too nervous and failed to fully utilize my ninjutsu technique. So, uh, what do you need? Well, uh, I heard that Shimmer has added a delicious new dish to their menu, and Yai Publishing House has some good light novels. Oh, and the dip in Isa Bathhouse is always nice. So, uh, you know, today's weather is perfect for all that stuff. So, what can I do for you? N no, really, I'm not up to anything. I'm just a little tired and thought I could use a good nap. <sighs> I'll be going now. J don't bother chasing me again. You won't be able to catch me anyway. Oh no, anything but that. <sighs> You're just as difficult as the Shrine Maiden. Come on, just let me go, would you? Oh, fine. But if I tell you the truth, I don't want to hear any complaints, no matter how crazy the truth may seem. So, you know I'm in the Shumatsu Ban, right? Well, it's our job to take care of matters that are inconvenient to the higher-ups, which sometimes includes ambushing people. Huh? Doesn't that intimidate you even a little bit? You do know what that means, right? And still no reaction, huh? Don't tell me it's because of my height. <sighs> anyway, being ambushed is pretty scary. You should at least try to express a little concern. Uh, actually, according to my orders, you are. Though I have no intention of really attacking you. I don't get it. They never assign me this kind of mission. There's loads of other suitable operatives. <sighs> All this craziness is starting to interfere with my sleep schedule. I just dropped by to see how you were doing. I was glad to see that you're okay. I was worried about how you'd react. I mean, who knows what you'd do if you knew that I was out to ambush you. Yet, when I told you, you didn't so much as flinch. I guess that actually made me feel a lot better. Who do you want to talk to? Someone in the Yashiro Commission? She's the one who's been assigned to supervise my work. She always tries to catch me whenever I'm slacking off. Basically, it's her duty to keep me from napping. But... She would probably know more about the origins of my mission. Fine... I'll take you to her, but I'll have to hide somewhere in the distance. If she catches me anywhere near there, I'll never hear the end of it. And then they'll sentence me to all kinds of work, which will really cut into my time for napping. Please, she's quite perceptive. You mustn't tell her that you've seen me anywhere. You got that? We have a deal. No word about me. she run off to this time huh? I didn't expect to see you here you're the traveler right it's a pleasure to meet you yes miss Kamisato has spoken of you before you seem familiar it appears my intuitions were correct may I ask what brings you here it just so happens I'm looking for a little child by the name of Sayu she's a ninja with a nasty habit of disappearing the moment I turn around <sighs> She's always neglectful of her duties. She often comes here to take a nap, but it seems she's already predicted that I would come looking for her. You haven't happened to see her anywhere, have you? She's wearing a Mojina costume. Pretty hard to miss. Really? Well then, I suppose I'll just have to keep searching for her. Oh? How could that be? How did you catch wind of this? 
Did you encounter the ninja tasked with the matter? Huh. Well, I'm sure there's no need to worry. You're probably just overthinking things. After all, you have been of great service to the Yashiro Commission, and many are thankful for your actions. How could anyone even consider dispatching a ninja to attack you? Like Sayu? You mean to say that this matter is related to Sayu? There's absolutely no need to worry about Sayu. If anything, she's extremely loyal and would never act presumptuously. Though she often neglects her duties as a ninja and seems to never heed instructions, she's certainly not one to go against our principles. Given her age, such portentous tasks are not assigned to her. What's the matter? Are you still worried? All right, just to be sure, I shall personally inquire about this matter with the Yashiro Commission. Though I am the Shrine Maiden, it is also part of my duties to take on work from the Shumatsuban. I'll be sure to look into it. I'm curious myself what could be the cause of such absurd rumors. My intuition tells me that Sai's mischief might be behind this whole misunderstanding. Are you completely certain that you haven't seen her around recently? Huh? Aha! Sayu, I can see you! Come out from there! Don't even think about trying to sneak away! Come over here! This instant! Hmm... It does appear that Sayu has really been given a mission to ambush you. Which wasn't assigned by me, of course. I apologize. I'm afraid I did not treat this matter with due sincerity. I shall take these orders back to the Yashiro Commission for further clarification. Good. <sighs> well, if there's nothing left for me to do, then I'll be... Ahem! <clears throat> Sayu! Oh, uh, yes? Where do you think you're off to? You have ninjutsu training to complete, so you shall return with me to Chinju Forest. Yes, but you know, an exceptional ninja must not only work hard, but also have ample rest. <sighs> it happens to be time for my nap, so I'll see you next time. Goodbye and good night. You're coming with me, even if I have to carry you, Sayu. Is that what you want? Oh, no need. I'm sorry. I'll come quietly. In which case... Traveler, will you come with us too? I promise there won't be any trouble. I need a bit of your time, that's all. I helped you by bringing you to the Shrine Maiden. So now you need to return the favor. <sighs> I honestly hope you're not up to something again, Sayu. We've arrived. All right. I will go to the Yashiro Commission now to inquire about Sayu's mission orders. In the meantime, please keep an eye on her. Sayu, you can start by warming up. Though you may often be difficult for me, I certainly will not abide any trouble for the Traveler. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Good. She's gone. Phew, no more work for today. <laughs> Actually, I invited you to come as a helper. No need to go into too much detail. The Shrine Maiden is terrifying. As soon as she picks up on my tracks, it's nearly impossible for me to shake her. But you are also super skilled, so maybe you can help me. Huh? You mean you won't rescue someone in a moment of dire need? All that goes on here is cruel and involuntary labor. Is it wrong to wish for ample rest? How else can I ever reach my growth spurt? I'm not being unreasonable. Don't you know? There are tons of benefits to sleeping. You can regain energy, clear your mind, pass the time, and escape from all your troubles. But most importantly, sleep helps you grow. And I've got plenty of growing to do. That's right. The other ninja can leap up tall trees in a single bound and pick the tasty fruit way up high. 
Being tall is the key to everything. All the other ninja my age are already way taller than me. Sensei told me that kids only have one chance to grow up, and that I'll miss my chance if I keep slacking off. Of course it is. Haven't you seen someone suddenly grow taller while they're sleeping? It happens all the time. Though, I guess it does sound silly when you think about it. Ugh, never mind. The longer I talk to you, the more you'll convince me otherwise. Besides, what's wrong with wanting a little more sleep? <sighs> See? I'm already crazy tired. Exactly. At first, I only wanted to grill as fast as possible. But as I started sleeping more every day, the sleepier I became. The sleepier I became, the more I slept. <sighs> Even right now, I'm awake and talking with you, but my brain still feels half asleep. Trust me, work is the last thing on my mind. Maybe you can help me. Even though I've been getting more sleep recently, I haven't gained any height at all. Any ideas? Quality sleep is hard to come by, especially with the Shrine Maiden always after me. Not much I can do about that. Somehow, she knows all my favorite napping spots. Sometimes I wonder if she knows everything. <sighs> it's tough to throw her off my trail. Anyway... Let's go have a look around. Whew. Maybe we can find a nice place to curl up for a nap. for hiding, but it certainly has a nice view and tons of fresh air. Napping here makes your dreams just that much sweeter. But slimes? Seriously, what gives? There's never any slimes here. And now there's ashes everywhere. Ugh, I can't nap here. I'll feel all nasty and grimy and it'll make my outfit dirty. Of course, even though I can sleep practically anywhere, it's very important to consider the quality of my sleep. Just in case the Shrine Maiden ever appears, I always sleep with one ear to the ground. That way, I can run to escape the moment I hear her approaching. <sighs> Which is exactly why I'm such a light sleeper now. That's how things are during the day. But sometimes, I can't sleep well at night either. <sighs> I suppose the good news is that we got rid of these slimes before the whole forest went up in flames. Seems like I'll need to scout out another place to nap. Of course! But the Shrine Maiden is always looking for where I like to sleep, so I have to keep finding more. Come with me! Hopefully she hasn't discovered any of my recent napping spots. <sighs> Seems like the coast is clear. Huh? Wait, what's that? Oh, now I recognize it. It's meant to keep intruders at bay, but is also often used for ninja training. It really hurts if you step on one, so be careful. There's a bunch on the stones here, and probably some in the grass as well. 
I see traces of lots of activity here. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's one of the Shrine Maiden's tactics. Once she discovers one of my napping spots, she'll turn it into a training area for the Shumatsuban to keep me from sleeping there. Ugh, but how does she find this one? I don't know. Maybe not. The Shrine Maiden should know the danger that Pyro Slimes present to the forest. But it's hard to say for sure. The Shrine Maiden will go to extreme lengths to catch me. It's almost as if she's my sworn enemy. She's the bane of my existence, that's for sure. Hold on, we can't just leave all these scattered around like this. Otherwise, it could harm the Kitsune or other wildlife. We should pick them all up. Then we'll just have to be quick. Let's pick it all up and run. We can do it fast enough if we try. How could the ninja leave their training equipment just sitting out here like this? Don't they know that it's dangerous? The next time I'm at the Shumatsuban, I'll be sure to give them a piece of my mind. Y yeah, that's right. We can't just let something like this slide. Uh, I mean, I can't promise anything, but I'll try. Anyway, let's get a move on. We need to pick all this stuff up. the last of it. <laughs> See? Even the kids in there are thanking us now. That's right. Don't eat any strange ninja gadgets. Got it? This is their home. We can't just let them get hurt here. <sighs> well, what should we do about getting a nap? <sighs> the shrine maiden could appear at any moment. Given what we saw just now, I'm afraid the shrine maiden has already discovered all my usual spots. Nowhere is safe from the Maiden. In which case, we'll need to scout out a new place to nap. The scenery is nice there, but there's too much rustling and noise. It'll be hard to sleep there. <sighs> I guess there's no choice but to go out adventuring. As they say, the most dangerous of places is often the safest of places. So if we're going to avoid the Shrine Maiden, I guess the safest place would be the Grand Narukami Shrine. Yeah, she'd never expect to find me sleeping in the big tree at the Grand Narukami Shrine. All we need to do is carefully make our way inside without drawing any unwanted attention. Once we're in, I'll be able to take a nice, long, undisturbed nap. Alright, up the mountain we go! the shrine maiden this place is crawling with members of the yashiro commission what are they all doing here but we can't turn back now let's sneak inside and have a closer look don't alert them to our presence all right quietly now <laughs> Notice us. That scary Guji lady doesn't seem to be around either. Actually, I've always wanted to come here for a nap. It's spacious and <sighs> super comfy. I'm already really sleepy. <sighs> Thanks for sticking with me. If you ever need a ninja, my skills are at your disposal. 
Even though I prefer to avoid my work with the Shumatsuban, if it's you that I'm assisting, I'm more than happy to help. Ideally, when I'm not sleepy, of course. Sayu! Where are you, Sayu? What? The Shrine Maiden! H how did she find me here? W what should I do? Oh, not good, not good. Would you? Oh, thanks. Just see if you can lure her away from here. Huh? Oh, it's you. After I returned from checking with the Yashiro Commission concerning the ambush operation, I discovered that you and Sayu had already left the forest. Is she here with you? Strange. I found all sorts of traces along the road. They all pointed me towards this shrine. Well, never mind. If you haven't seen her here, then perhaps she ran off to another one of her hiding spots. I did manage to confirm that the ambush order did not originate from the Ashiro Commission. An investigation is already underway. It seems we'll have more information soon enough. You needn't worry. Hmm. Wait a moment. Are you absolutely sure you haven't seen Sayu? <sighs> Although I can't prove it, my intuition tells me that she is nearby. Huh. Strange. I don't think I've ever seen this kitsune around the shrine before. It seems to be concerned about the tree here. I wonder if there's something in the branches. You'll never catch me! Sayu? Yes, ma'am. Good. She's gone. Actually, the shrine maid, but you are also super... Huh? All that goes... Is it wrong to wish for... Don't you know? But most importantly... That's right. All the other ninja might... Of course it is. Haven't you seen? It happens all the time. Ugh. Besides... Yeah... I suppose I haven't kept up with my duties. I'm sorry, but... Oh, I really am getting sleepy. It's because my work is just too boring. Transporting documents, organizing the ninja tools... As long as I don't do the work, no one will come asking me to do it again. The higher-ups always give all the important tasks to more suitable operatives. They never even give me a second thought. Hmm... Now that you say that, I just had an idea. If you learn ninjutsu and help me with my tasks, then I can sleep peacefully and focus more on growing. Ninjutsu will come in super handy during your adventures. Don't worry, I'll personally teach you everything. If you work hard, then I'll work hard to teach you. See? This way, nobody is wasting time being lazy. <laughs> Thank you so much. See, you're the hero that protects Sayu's nap time. We can start training as soon as the Shrine Maiden gets back. Oh, I'm honestly surprised to see you still here, Sayu. Unless... Is this some sort of trick? The Traveler is interested in ninjutsu and wants to learn together. Is that so? Though it is strictly forbidden for some techniques to be taught to outsiders. But I suppose you are an exception in this case. Indeed, I did. I was able to determine that the Yashiro Commission had no intent of carrying out such a mission. They are now investigating the origins of these orders. Rest assured. The related personnel are all aware of the situation, and there should be no further threats to your safety. Well then, let us begin your ninjutsu training. Please follow us. Oh, 
I'll show you my favorite skill to practice. Basically, it's an escape technique. I use it to make a quick getaway whenever the Shrine Maid is after me. <sighs> All right, Sayu. Just leave the explanation to me. This is a technique to help Ninja train their agility. When the unpredictable happens during a mission, Ninja must be capable of traversing a variety of terrains. During our training, we often set up obstacles on both sides of this stream and have Sayu make her way up the course. I often slipped when I was little and either found myself falling face first into the mud or getting battered as I tumbled down. So don't underestimate this little course of ours. It's not as easy as you think. Sayu may be exaggerating a little. With your adventuring experience, I'm sure you'll do fine. Yeah, go ahead and give it a try. Whew, I'll guide you through it. Nice try, Sayu. You'll run the course first. Quickly now. Uh... Come now, no stalling. Give the traveler a proper demonstration. All right, all right. Leave it to me. Although Sayu doesn't usually exert her best effort, she does have strong ninja fundamentals. Do your best. I'll be waiting at the finish. Impressive. You really got some talent. If I were to rate your performance, I'd say you're like a strong, fast Mujina. Anyway, nicely done. I was rooting for you. <laughs> Don't mind me. I just happened to remember the words of my sensei. After each training session, sensei would give me a score and encourage me based on my results. Huh. I'm surprised you remember your sensei's words so clearly, Sayu. <laughs> but don't you think your sensei would disapprove of you copying their words? <laughs> no way. Sensei wouldn't be mad at all. Yep, sensei said there were some important matters to attend to. Sensei told me that they hoped I would become a responsible ninja while they are away. You know, the kind of ninja everyone can trust. You remember your sensei's words. But you sure don't seem to act on them, skipping work all the time. Hey, I work hard. <sighs> when I'm not sleepy. It's just that this season is perfect for napping. I really can't help it. <sighs> the problem is that to you, every season is perfect for napping. Anyway, you've certainly handled the training well so far. The next exercise is live combat training. Let's go, shall we? Considering that you have yet to grasp the art of ninjutsu, we'll let Sayu demonstrate in combat first. And this will be a prime opportunity for you to see her ninjutsu firsthand. Sure thing, just leave it to me. <clears throat> let my example illuminate your path to ninjutsu. <sighs> there you go again, Sayu. You know, imitating what other people say is a poor habit. Sorry. Here we are. Now, please carefully observe Sayu's skills in combat. I'll do my best to make my ninjutsu a little easier to understand. I'm out of here! Phew. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Close attention to my ninjutsu. Here, I'll teach you. First, you stretch your upper body a bit, do a little wiggle, and then turn yourself into a ball, like this. Huh? What's the matter? You don't want to transform into a ball? Don't worry, you might feel a little dizzy at first, but you'll get used to it. I thought you'd be able to catch on after seeing a quick demonstration. <sighs> anyway, I'm beat and need a good nap now. Hopefully I won't need to demonstrate that again. Ah, uh, yeah, that was my sensei's way of teaching. Very strong and patient. Which is a little too much work for me. Strong, responsible, and kind. Sensei never pushed me to do more work. Uh... Actually, after hearing myself say that, I suppose Sensei was a lot like you. Although you don't know ninjutsu like Sensei did, your other qualities are enough to make you my Sensei. Sure, Sensei's name was... Uh... What was it now? Huh? I guess I never asked. I just called them Sensei. I think Sensei was a ninja. Actually, Sensei never really mentioned it. Sensei's height... Hmm... They were taller than me. As for other qualities... Sometimes it's hard to tell from just appearances. But these details don't matter to me. Alright, that's enough idle chatter for now. If Sayu Sensei ever returns, I'm sure you'll have the chance to meet. As for our next exercise... Uh, wait! I'm not quite up to it yet. <sighs> I need to take a break first. We agreed on a break after every two exercises, didn't we? Remember? To keep training from being too forceful. Fine. Even if I did push you, I suppose you would end up napping on the field anyway. Go, have a rest. I shall wait for you here. Remember, no running off. Got it. Come with me, traveler. I'll take you to a nice place to relax a bit. Phew. Finally, time for a break. You may go have a break with Sayu. It's important to recover your stamina and stay hydrated. Just as I thought, exactly the same as before. Sensei knew that I was concerned about my height, so before leaving, Sensei measured my height and used the rope to mark it on the tree over there. Nothing is more satisfying than growing. At least, that's what Sensei told me. But even after all this time, not only have I yet to outgrow the rope, I think the rope is getting higher with the tree. <sighs> Maybe it's because I'm not sleeping enough. 
I get it. And that's exactly what I told Sensei at the time. But Sensei only laughed, though they didn't scold me at all. I guess Sensei had their own way of looking at things. I really couldn't tell what Sensei was thinking in moments like that. Do you have any idea what Sensei might have meant? That's okay, just say it. Either way, I'm sure you understand more than me. Bro... Hmm... I think I understand now. I love to take naps under a tree, or hide in the shade, or eat some of its fruit. This is how the tree provides for me. I see... Okay, just wait here. Don't worry, I'll be right back. These fruits are for you. No, no. I get it now. Uh, how should I put it? Sometimes I think that the Shumatsuban is more trouble than it's worth. Everyone's trying to keep me from getting enough sleep and growing taller. Sometimes I wonder why I even bother sticking around with them. But every time I think about it, I can't help but remember Sensei's smile. And then I think of this tree and my vision. Someday, this tree will also be shelter for a kitsune or some other animal. In the same way, someday, after I've grown nice and tall, I'll be protecting someone with my ninjutsu. I know. <sighs> Sorry, I guess I was hoping that I'd grow faster and that I could work hard. But it seems that I've already spent too much time trying to grow. If I gave up my dreams of growing tall, could I still fulfill everyone's hopes? I've always avoided asking myself this question. It just makes me feel a little nervous. And I've yet to find an answer. I still don't know what to do. <sighs> I don't even know what I actually can do. But I thought that at least I can give you some fruit to eat. <laughs> you remind me of Sensei. You're kind and can even understand what Sensei was thinking. So I thought I should at least show a little bit of enthusiasm. Huh? But wasn't I the one teaching you ninjutsu just now? Although, I'm sure you know a lot more about life than me. So I guess you could still count as my teacher in that regard. Oh yeah, you're right. <sighs> I was getting a little carried away. Why don't we go practice a little more ninjutsu after our break is up? Today is one of those rare days when I feel super motivated. But never mind that for now. We've got lots of fruit to eat. Come on, take whichever you like. <laughs> We've arrived, Sayu. Yes, ma'am. Good. She's gone. Actual, the shrine made it, but you're also super... Huh? All that goes on, is it wrong to wish for... Don't you know? But most importantly... That's right. All the other ninja might... Of course it is. Haven't you... It happens all... Ugh. Besides... Exactly. Maybe you can... Huh? You're saying there's a way to grow taller while I'm awake too? Yes... You do have a point... Hmm... It's nothing compared to the adults. Just a little food is enough to make me full. I usually prefer eating fruit rather than those big filling dishes. But I think I get it now. With more nutrients, People can grow bigger and taller. If anybody can eat a lot, it's the samurai. I should follow their example. <laughs> I guess. Let's head into town and find something to eat. We won't be able to go anywhere when she's around. Now's our only chance. 
coming from. Welcome to Kiminami Restaurant. What can I get for the two of you? Oh, hmm, let me think. I'll have rice cake soup, a tuna sushi, a tricolor dango. Oh, and one tri-flavored skewer, please. Time waits for no one. It's time for me to take things into my own hands. If I can't grow more by eating more, then we'll still have time to try something else. I've always taken a proactive approach to growing taller. I can even overcome my sleepiness if I need to. Speaking of which, I've never been able to eat very much in one sitting. I thought I could try and see what my limits are this time, but... If I can't finish it all, would you help me? Ah, no, that's no good. I've got to stay positive. I know I can finish it all. Yay, thanks! That way, I don't have to worry about any of the food going to waste. Eating food like this will help me grow right away, won't it? Maybe I'll gain a whole six inches. Yeah, you might be right. Let's eat everything up and find out. Don't worry about me. I'm just a bit full. That's all. Ugh, I can't move. Ugh, I don't feel like I'm getting taller at all. If anything, I'm only growing wider. But if that's the price of getting taller, then I'm willing to pay it. Okay, time to order some more dango. Dango. Yes, more dango. I think the dango are making a swirl reaction in my tummy. Uh, who knew dango could pack such a punch? Uh, I just don't get it. Why does growing have to be so difficult? Uh, let's keep at it. No pain, no gain. But maybe I could try some other food. All the stuff we just ordered is starting a swirl reaction in my tummy. Yeah, I understand. Remember, not too fast now. Ugh, my tummy hurts. Next time, only order one dish. If we finish it, then we can order another. That would be a better plan, wouldn't it? No... Uh, wait... I won't give up. Some things can never be achieved until you push yourself. If I can't eat anymore, then we can always order some tea. My body needs to get the signal that I'm trying to grow taller. Yeah, I'm a little worried about that too. Ninja must be quick on their feet. It'd be embarrassing to get stuck in a tight passageway. But my body will feel my desire to grow and direct all the nutrients to the right place. I've already eaten this much. I can't give up now. Uh, that's it. I'm done. Growing is more painful than I thought. We still have two radishes left over. Would you mind finishing them? No, wait a second. Let me think. On second thought, let me try to eat more. Otherwise, I'll feel like I didn't give it my best shot. I should at least eat one more. 
Then I'll call it quits. No more trying to grow by eating. <sighs> All right, here it goes. Sayu? Where are you, Sayu? Come out this instant! Uh-oh, it's the Shrine Maiden. Not good. She's coming this way. What should we do? There's only one option now. I'll lead her away from here and try to shake her off my trail. We'll meet back here later. I'll just slip away and... Uh, oh no, my tummy, it's too full. Yikes! Welcome to Kiminami. Oh, mm, time waits for no one. It's I've always taken a proactive speaking, but ah, no. Yay! They eating food like this while well, yeah you. Shumatsuban always seems to be training their ninjutsu and accepting extremely difficult tasks. No, no, that can't be it. <sighs> Actually, I haven't kept a good balance of sleep and training. But that's because I feel sleepy way more often than I feel energetic. Hmm, I get it now. I need to do more training with you. Adventuring, combat... I need to do it all. Pardon my eavesdropping, but did you say that you're going to the Adventurer's Guild to take a commission? Recently, we've been running into a group of rowdy treasure hoarders whenever we go into the wild to gather ingredients. It seems as if they're intentionally targeting our restaurant staff. Ugh. I hope you can understand how dire the situation has become. This matter has been taking a real toll on our business. Since I've already submitted the commission to Catherine, perhaps you can consider helping us out? Treasure hoarders, huh? Well, bad guys are the best practice targets for ninjutsu. Great! You have my thanks. Uh, let me show you where the treasure hoarders have been most active these days. right. There's the treasure hoarders. All that food we just ate is weighing me down a bit, but I think we can still handle them. <laughs> Another <laughs> test subject. <laughs> We're open. Can't 
care of the last of them, he charged straight at me. I moved back to dodge him, but he was too tall. As he reached out to grab me, his hand landed right on my head. It's over. It's all over. All that hard work for nothing. He crossed the line. Everyone knows that if you're trying to grow taller, you can't be touched on the head. Of course. I never let anyone touch my head. Who knows how much I'll have to eat and sleep or how much training I'll have to do to make up for it. Oh, it's a real bummer, you know. <sighs> I see you're just trying to comfort me. Thanks. It's not fun to be patted on the head. But what's done is done. There's nothing I can do about it now. <sighs> just forget it. I give up on growing. I'm not gonna grow any taller today, that's for sure. Sorry, I don't want to bum you out with my terrible mood. I should probably just go back now. The Shrine Maiden's gonna give me a real earful. Might as well get it over with. I get it. I'll try to look at the bright side. I was too anxious about growing, and now I'm being punished by the Archons. No, no need. I don't want to trouble you anymore. Maybe my stunted growth is tied to my bad attitude more than anything else. Getting you involved any further will just be a waste of your time. Huh? The feeling of growing? What do you mean? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm after. Reach higher and seek farther? Really? Sounds good. I appreciate all your help. You had me worried on the way here, you know? I seriously wondered if you were taking me to the Kamisato residence or the shrine. But you weren't kidding. I can see much farther from here. Somehow, I feel a little better after coming up so high. Hmm, no, nothing particularly special. I'd simply like to go to the forest and pick some fruit from the trees without having to jump or find something to step on. Just that would be enough to make me happy. I'd also like to go swimming in water that's too deep for me now. And no one will tease me anymore for my toes not being able to touch the bottom. Oh, oh, and I'll be able to eat more too and stop wasting food all the time. Oh, and not to mention, I'll become more free too. I won't need to have a guardian to look after me. And the shrine maiden won't be out to catch me anymore. I'll even be able to visit other places for training. I'll go wherever I want, and sleep wherever I want. 
Imagine, no need to catch up on naps anymore. That will be the day. By the way, do you happen to need anyone with ninjutsu skills to accompany you on your adventures? Hmm, see? You still see me by my current height. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll be even taller than you one day. Just wait till I'm taller. You won't need to worry about me ever again. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Thanks. From now on, I'll visit high places more often. They really do work miracles. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, I see. So what should I do? Huh? What? 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 